hello everybody i'm back again with another video so there are more vehicle on the road than ever before and it's always a good idea to protect yourself in an unfortunate car accident and having a dash cam mounted on your car can record those crucial moments so today we're gonna look at god ts dash cam god ts did not send me this dash cam i bought this out of my pocket so all my reviews is gonna be unbiased so now let's go ahead and unbox this product see some build quality review the product check out video quality and you will be my biggest judge let's unbox it and see what comes with in the box if you look at the packaging there is nothing much in the packaging it does not have much detail in it so for now it's the packaging looks okay nothing fancy comes here if you open this up there's a quick guide here it tells you about built-in battery should be connected to the charger and some fqa some quick question answers how do i play back how to exit the interface how do i insert the dash cam so let's open this up uh, so what's in there i see i believe that's a suction cup that you mount to the windshield so that's good that's a power connector that goes to the cigarette lighter but what else comes to the card reader that goes to your computer or phone it depends pry tools let's see what's in here i believe that's where the dash cam itself is the packaging is okay nothing fancy this is the dash cam the it's a it's the size is pretty small that looks like a mini dash cam what else is here a quick guide has some really quick steps how to put it into the car how to install it so this is the dash cam this is a pretty small dash cam the screen is around 2.5 inches so this is how small is it if you look at my hand this is how small the camera is so this camera is a 2k resolution camera comes with g sensor uh, parking monitoring loop recording the good thing is most of the company do not provide the sd card so this company does provide the sd card with the 64 gb and this is the maximum supported sd card by this dash cam so i have powered this dash cam through the external power bank to go with some functionality so as you see in the screen on the top right it gives you seconds in the red that camera is is recording the video this is the resolution of the video so this at the bottom tells you that there's a memory card inserted and at the bottom saying that the power supply is connected here the, on the bottom left there is a microphone that means it's recording arrow like a refresh sign on the computer tells me that there's a loop and on the top in the red blinking saying that there is a video being recorded so to, to enable different menus in this dash cam first you have to pause the recording that's you press this button and now you press this main button and it gives you a couple of options so resolution go ahead and press ok it tells you what resolution do you want the video to be recorded i'm gonna go ahead and pick the best one which is 1440p go ahead and it, at the bottom one it says loop recording and what loop recording means is it will create it will start different recording every five minute three minute or one minute i prefer to do it with one minute so you can um, easily navigate what you're looking for when you download the video to the computer exposure i'm gonna open this up and leave it as zero that's fine audio recording that means if you want to record the audio or no i'm gonna turn it on for now um date is time if you want date i'm gonna leave it this on gravity sensor this you can select the sensitivity of the gravity sensor medium low high so what gravity sensor is if you're driving a car and suddenly it collides or or happen to be in a crash and this camera shakes it's gonna enable the gravity sensor and lock that video and parking monitor is if you want to turn it on and off so this is when you, there is always a hit and run cases so your, when when your car is parked and somebody hit it and run so as long as it, the camera shakes and and sends the hit it will start recording and lock the video and now the second menu is a screensaver so what's in the screen sensor is there won't be anything showing onto the screen but recording the video at the background so i'm gonna turn this off so it's just personal preference so beep sound on each menu you want to turn it on and off you can select it and language 
there's multiple language options japanese french german so i'm gonna go ahead and click english date and time you can set it the date and time i'm this this is correct time so i'm gonna leave it as this format if you want to format the data so default setting is when you are when you want to go back to the original setting and the version so i'm gonna go ahead and now install this to my camera and see the result so this is where i'm planning to put my dash cam in for a perfect view just make sure you have a fiber cloth so just make sure the surface is properly clean so i'm gonna go ahead and put the such suction cup in and it says counterclockwise to lock it i'm gonna adjust the angle here so this angle looks good i'm gonna go ahead and lock the screw i've plugged in the adapter now and the dash cam is all fine running so i'm gonna go ahead and go for a ride and try to record the result so now let's check out the video quality. I'm going to park closer to the car in front of me to see if I can read the number plate. That's pretty clear to me. And the car park on the front left, I'm not able to read the number plate of that car. It's like two car distance. And the car coming to my right lane, I'm also able to read the number plate. So that's pretty clear, clear result on a sunny night's nice day and very visible and let's see if i can read the road name by crossing the intersection yeah i'm i'm able to read the road name so that's a pretty good dash cam for the price one of the drawbacks with this camera is you have to actually check out the sd card and put it in the laptop to download the videos other than that everything looks okay to me for the price you pay so that's it for today guys i hope you guys like the video if you guys do please consider subscribing thank you and we'll see you in the next video